hello everyone welcome back to the channel now today we're going to uh, migrate a vgs application into a nextjs application so i'm running a local vgs application here which is just a simple application with a couple of routing here as you see that's the main pages and from here i just set up that routing and it's working perfectly and as you see you can toggle through that all the pages and it's working pretty cool so now even it's a simple application but it has almost all the functionality except the api that you can just create the route and pages so it will work definitely even you are trying to in a complex application when we're gonna migrate that so to migrate that one what you need to do so let's go to that react get it started from here and on the installation without getting any of the other configuration i would like to go with the manual configuration here as you see that's my first time also doing here with you people i didn't try it yet so how we can go and did everything for this proportion so what i'm gonna do is first i'm gonna close my terminal here right now as I'm gonna change a lot of things here. First thing first, I'm gonna remove that bit config file. Okay, as I'm not gonna using that bit, so I'm gonna remove the configuration so nothing is applied from bit right now. And then I'm gonna install these properties as I need to install. So I'm gonna copy this portion. I'm using the pnpm, so I'm gonna just use that pnpm install. It will install that next at latest, React at latest, and React DOM at latest. So if we roll back to our package manager, you see we have the DOM, we have the React, and also we have that React router DOM to create other instances. So now let's just give it the time to configure how it's going to start. So it's installing five deprecated. Okay, that's okay. Let it uh, give it the time to install those dependencies. And after installing, as you see, that's the packages it's going to be installed in the scripts. And now as you see we need to create an app directory here okay to providing that route setup and also we need to create a root layout so we need to have actually the two setup one is that layout.tsx or we can use the jsx and also one is that app.jsx so i'm not going to transfer this project with a typescript uh, exception as i'm using the jsx so i'll just keep it simple as possible so now i have those things so in that source folder as i'm using the source directory i'm going to grab another folder which it will be my app directory and here i'm going to create that page dot tsx so it should be now is that page dot jsx so rafce and that would be my let's say a name of that home page so that would be the actual home page but we can also grab those uh, code and also we can paste it here that's the similar thing it's gonna do so hello next jazz now after doing that we need to create that layout.tsx and again it will go and ship with that layout.jsx you can go with the tsx uh, nothing fancy it will be simple and work properly so i'm just gonna remove that my type definition here and as you see that looks quite good so now what or are uh, like other things uh, should be changed in the project let's just roll back as you see that pages i'm going to rename that a uh, directory as it gonna contradict for the pages so it will be just name of that custom pages just gonna keep that now how it gonna roll back if i just make that pnpm run dev let's see i just want to see to run the command how it's going to happen as you see still is directing to my local host 5173 if i roll back to 5173 of course it's gonna be collapse right because i'm no more running the vid project so what i need to do is to create the setup instances so from where it's running you see that index.html file which we are no longer gonna use that so it's just gonna head back to dropped we are not going to use that and let's just see in that package.json okay here is the fundamental idea in the package.json it's just getting a little bit confused here because we didn't configure anything in the package.json so we need to rewrite our script okay so in that dev it should be next dev and also in that build which we need to also change which is going to be next uh, oops it should be next build and also for the start okay there is the start 
Mm, okay, I don't want to give the preview. I don't want to give that link also. So in the start, okay, I'm going to run that. It should be next start. It's going to start my next project, not the others. So now let's just go and see if anything changes because I'm just trying to do each and every setup with you people, like one by one, because I don't have any practices before also regarding that. So now make that uh, should be PNPM run dev. Let's just see where it's heading. Okay. As you see, it's just running in my local host 3000. If we just start spinning the project, it should be able to see. Okay let's just see how it's compiling okay compiled and hello next yes now that is a catch i have already configured the television css but it's not appearing here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna roll back my uh index.css here and instead of uh giving the name of index.css i'm gonna provide the name of globals.css and also i will need to change here in that my uh, tell when config uh, that configuration setup we need to change as you remember you can roll back to that uh, tell when configuration just from here you can just go with the tell when css.com and get it started and from there you can just go to get the idea and you can just copy this portion okay this much portion we are requiring right now so i'm gonna just replace that code as i'm gonna use that uh okay so I'm using the source directory. So other properties, I'm going to just remove it. Okay. This app, keep it as like that. So now let's see here is still nothing changes because in my root layout, I need to import that. Okay. So it will be import globals.css. Okay. Let's hit the save and still nothing changes yet. Okay. Let's roll it. Yeah. Now you see, hello, next chair yes, is change. So now I have my components things here. So remember what we are having in the app, we have this portion. So I'm going to copy this portion from my previous project and in the pages as it's going to be my home pages, I'm going to just paste it here. And also I need to import that section title, which uh, in the component, I need to import the container, which also in that container. Let's hit save and let's see if anything changes. Okay, it's cool. It's change. Now, where is my header? So to get back the header, remember we have the layout as we expecting that in all the pages header would work. So let's roll back to the header. And also we want the footer should be working every single pages. So let's roll back to the footer in the save and we should be able to see header and footer but nothing coming yet let's just give it the time to roll okay there is a some a problem with that and what's the problem let's roll back to the header as you see we use uh some different properties here the path name and other properties so what i'm gonna do is that in that path name it should be const path name should be use path name we are no longer in gonna use that variables here and also i'm gonna remove that properties imported from react route dom and here i'm gonna import that link from my next link and should be const path name it should define with that use path name okay which is gonna come from the next nav navigation and we're using the use path name of course we need to as a it's playing as a hook we need to make that component as use client and as soon as we did that it should be appearing and there is one more mistake in that uh, link it should be href okay and also in that particular link it should be not to should be href okay let's see okay now see it's cool if we roll back to services nothing no pages found yet so we're gonna create those pages and then we can toggle through it so so far so good we are good to go we're having like if we go in the services pages and if you roll back to click on the home you see it's coming back to the home so now how we can go and explore that pages section as you see as i'm running that app so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna simply uh go in the app and simply create a directory here which is going to give a name of my pages so first page it should be a services and here i'm going to create that pages uh, page dot jsx so page uh, dot jsx refce to create that 
a dynamic page and also you can write that uh, services page doesn't matter even you keep it the name as pages it will work as so now from here let's go that services and we're gonna just copy all the properties even without copying we can use that remember as as it's just uh, because what i'm gonna do i'm gonna drag everything from that custom and i'm gonna shift it here okay just to show you how easily we can make that each and every single as a component right okay i'm gonna put yes now let's delete that file so now in that services pages where is that i'm gonna just get back my component here so it should be services that's it let's roll back here and if we go back to the services as you see services pages is available also if we click if we click another folder so it should be like let's just make that a uh, about out and also if we make that paste.jsx or afce and here it should be that about page and also we can roll back to get our component which it will be about page okay if we just click on that about about pages running so within simple configuration you can now create all the pages all the properties and remember that app not recur anymore that main not recur anymore and also you can remove whatever the things which is not recur and you can just keep that as simple as possible so now that's the that's how you can just set uh you can uh, just roll back any of that uh, vid application or the application you use that uh, create react app um, uh, like comments so you can just roll back those things and create a fresh nextjs application and i think if this helped you please do subscribe the channel and like the video which can help me to and boost my morale to create some more video on that and if you have any particular subject to create those videos let me know in the comments uh, comments below i'm going to help you with creating those things so that's how you can set so let's just go your previous old application and transfer that into a next year's application. So all the best with it. We'll see you in next video.